Hey folks, dude here, coming at you on Friday, 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 September 4th. And you know, every once in a while I go through my stack of stuff and I'm trying to find some inspiration for my daily video. Sometimes, some stuff, some, some stuff just writes itself, man. Um, today's story is going to be riffing on the fact that um, two fictional characters, who are, quote, well, not even alive, end quote, have decided to break up and move onwards with their relationship status to other people. Now, who am I speaking of? Um, this this is so utterly stupid. I cannot even put a you know a name and a face on it except for them. Simply to say, the name and the face on it is basically uh, Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy, uh, two Muppets. Uh, obviously, the Jim Henson universe is now owned by Disney. So, obviously, you know, Disney being Disney and Disney for all that they are, will milk it for all it's worth. Or you'd like, uh, I know a little something about Disney, okay? I mean, I'm actually riffing on here on the, uh, on the you know, the Oz movie that kind of was like, mm, in the box office. I thought it was actually a rather good flick. You know, Mrs. Dude and I and all the nieces, nephews, what have you all saw it. And it, it was actually a really cool flick. I mean, I actually really thought it was, it was very well done. Special effects were good. Uh, story was not bad. Set up for, you know, pretty much the Wizard of Oz. Uh, on the other hand, a couple of the character choices, not so much. Not so much. Uh, what's your tush from that 70s show? And uh, I forget, you know, the, the chick that does the voice of Meg. I'll put it in the annotations. Uh, Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis. Uh, absolutely. Her doing the Wicked Witch. With her very Slavic, round face, kind of like, you know, the big jaw like I got, you don't make it. You need to be a little skinny face person and just didn't work. Well, anyway, go back to the subject matter at hand. Of all things, with this stupid, stupid, stupid story about Kermit and Piggy breaking up after they've been an item for 40 flipping years. Of all people who is maddened, enraged, and has their, well... Mangina, no, yeah, it would be their manginas, okay? Feminists are never happy, okay? They basically are a bunch of dick-hating morons who would rather basically everybody just, you know, have a feminist-run world, women are in charge, men suck, and all the rest of that fun stuff. They don't, they're not even good lesbians, okay? They're just pissed off at everybody. Classic example would be Rosie O'Donnell. She pissed off the other liberals on The View so much that they, well, they shit-canned her. And I'm going to say the word. They literally shit-canned her. They got tired of her bullshit. So this one might be a little bit more, you know, not safe for work. You know what? It's a Friday. I could do that. What the fuck? So anyway, um, feminists are angry that Kermit the Frog's new girlfriend is young and thin. Picture now showing. All right, so we're back. I mean, you know, obviously, I think they're kind of riffing on a little bit of a Brooke Shields kind of a thing. You know, the red hair and whatnot. Maybe a little Famke Jansen in there, but the eyes... A very ipecanthric. You know, she looks very almost Asian, all right? Uh, Chinese Chinese pig? I don't know. I mean, but she really kind of has like almost like a demure kind of a, you know, sultry come hither, you know, thing going on. The nose, the nose is different. Um, the nose is most definitely different. I had a little fun with it. I came up with a gif and, you know, basically, I, I'm now, okay, a meme. I came up with a meme and I'm now posting on YouTube and I'm having fun with it. And it would be this picture here, because I think it's funny for Kermit to be, you know, predisposed to being Jewish and dating a pig. <laughs> so here it is. Alright, so you, you guys can see where I'm coming from. I mean, me being me, I think some of this shit is funny and I put it out there. So anyway, uh, Kermit has denied, this is in the Telegraph, by the way, uh, a British, a sort of British newspaper of some rapport, the Telegraph. Uh, I've heard Telltale that they're very much like our um, Inquirer. Yeah, they're, they're kind of like <sighs> going down the, sta the social structure of being just like, you know, man bites dog. Okay, lady gets caught with dog in backyard. Kind of, you know, doing the nasty. Kind of one of those magazines, uh, you know, newspapers, whatever, what you, you know. Uh, anyway, so the feminists are angry that Kermit's new girlfriend is young and thin. The nose is different. She looks more demure. She's hotter. Red hair, you know, obviously redhead chick's going to be a hottie, so whatever. So anyway, but the feminists are pissed off. Um, this one chick, I'm not going to give her a name. Uh, something that the backwards, think, something that is a backward step for feminism. Quote, 
We thought Realistic Barbie was a victory, but now we have Skinny Pam on Archer and Denise the Younger Hotter Pig on Muppets. Really? Another person who's really just got her mangina in an uproar. Seriously, it made me really mad, especially that they made her young and skinny. It's funny her name's Denise, though. Really? Why is it funny? Uh, another person. <sighs> Kermit's new girlfriend is hotter and younger than Miss Piggy. Well, duh! Uh, interestingly, since Miss Piggy became a feminist, she and Kermit broke up, and Kermit is dating someone younger. Yeah, because you're being an asshole! Nobody likes a feminist asshole. Nobody likes an asshole liberal. Nobody likes you and your pejorative asshole tendencies. That's why they eschew you. Ugh. Is Kermit anti-feminist? Really? Mm. Kermit couldn't even last a month before Miss Piggy declared herself a feminist. Really? I, I don't think... Kermit had jack shit to do with that one. That was Miss Piggy declaring herself a feminist. How the fuck did Kermit have jack shit to do with what Miss Piggy does after they broke it up? He's not sticking his cloak on her, um, whatever, and... You know what? I don't even know how that would work, because frogs don't have a pecker, okay? They don't. Um, who's Kermit new girl? He got tired of Miss Piggy being a feminist. No, he got tired of Miss Piggy being a cunt! Call it what it is. Uh, what kind of message are the Muppets sending now that Kermit is dating a skinny pig? Jim Henson must be doing somersaults. No, Jim Henson's fucking dead! He doesn't give two fucking shits, okay? He's in the motherfucking grave! How the fuck does he care what Disney does with his jack shit? Because he's in fucking Valhalla! Oh, you motherfuckers are annoying. What does Kermit's new girlfriend have a face like a brat's doll, skinny legs and no style? Jim Henson must be turning in his grave. Another one with the turning in the grave. The inevitable Woody Allen comparison. Kermit just seems like Woody Allen now. A neurotic skinny frog taking advantage of naive piglets. You fucking cunt. Uh, you know what? They put together a Muppet. They can make the Muppet look any fucking way they want to. As a matter of fact, they can do CGI and make her a CGI Muppet. There is no fucking reason why a inanimate object would be fucking another inanimate object. And you motherfuckers on the fucking interwebs are going out of your fucking minds with your estrogen overflow going way up the fuck with the male because the male broke off with a female just because she's a feminist. She's a fucking puppet, you morons! Oh, the length, depth, and breadth of some of these motherfuckers is just extreme. You know what? This is going to turn into a fucking rant. That's it. I'm not fucking taking this bullshit any motherfucking more because these fucking dumb shits are going out of their way to give personification to a fucking puppet. Oh, you stupid motherfuckers. Kermit getting a skinny pig broad totally defeats the quote, love your body the way you are, end quote, idea. Also, over slash under, Kermit was, oh, 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 also was Kermit on Ashley Madison. You know what, motherfucker? Kermit is famous enough he can get just as much pig pussy as he wants to, or any kind of pussy as he wants to. Because he is king shit in the Muppet universe. Who else do you think of when you see a Muppet? You think of Kermit. The first fucking Muppet was Kermit, damn it. Uh, there's one disturbing assumption. I'd like to point out that pigs are only that skinny when they're piglets. Kermit? Uh, would you DDDD fam? Uh, uh, oh, I don't even know what the fuck that means. Uh, and of course the Telegraph is just like, you know, riffing on the most, it was all like tweets and like in, in text was like the tweet and then like the line above was like them making some kind of casual little eat at it. But you know what? This is total fucking bullshit when they put some personification on a fucking inanimate object. You know what this says to me? Liberals have been in power too fucking long. And just like Rush Limbaugh said a long time ago, liberals in power get crazier. They get stupider, and you get to know them for exactly the shallow, inept, you know, just inept, stupid fucking morons with complete brain fart tendencies for what they really, truly are. You know what? I don't give two fucks who Kermit is dating. I don't give two fucks who Miss Piggy is dating, and I really don't give two fucks about the Muppets one way or the fucking other, okay? I have reality to live in. I don't give two shits in the grass about what these fucking puppets are fucking. I don't give two fucking shits in the grass if they date another puppet. 
you motherfuckers have got no lives when you can ride the internet and get pissed off and put and ascribe social tendencies to a fucking piece of cloth with somebody's hand up its ass. You people are fucking morons. I'm going to get off on this one. <laughs> Eat good, keep it centered, as always, always. You know it, you love it. Fucking stupid people! <sighs> Muppets. Fuck the Muppets, okay? Fuck the Muppets. The only damn one I really, truly like was probably like, you know, uh, Dr. Benson, Honeydew, and of course, Beaker, because they were fucking funny. Slapstick shit in the laboratory is always good fun. See you guys. Urgh!